Hello friends, welcome to Jijo's Corner. Hope you guys doing well and safe. Today I'm going to show you how to make beef ola theater. It's also known as beef roast. Now we have a look at what we need for today's recipe. Here I took sliced onion three medium numbers, crushed ginger and garlic three to four tablespoons two tomatoes sliced, sliced coconut, mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, it's optional, turmeric powder half teaspoons, chili powder three tablespoons, coriander powder three tablespoons, meat masala two tablespoons, black pepper powder one tablespoon, garam masala one tablespoon, curry leaves, salt to taste, oil and the main item two kilo, diced washed and drained beef i am always using olive oil here once the oil heat we can add the coconut thus uh, uh, you can uh, avoid if you don't like uh, to coconut in between the beef uh, no problem you can avoid that one and once it uh, get uh, brown then we need to add another ingredients so wait till uh, that one brown and then you can add uh, mustard seeds uh, once it uh, pop up then uh, we are going to add uh, fenugreek seeds that's optional you can avoid if you don't like that one uh, no problem it's not a must thing in this one uh, we used to cook with uh, everything uh, we will add some fenugreek seeds because we like uh, that one that's very healthy as well for the health that's why we are adding it when it uh, get brown and then we can add uh, uh, the next item so wait till it get brown and then it will pop up uh, same like mustard seeds so one is one seed uh, pop up and this uh, completely get brown color we can add uh, uh, crushed ginger and uh, garlic to that uh, oil now i'm going to add ginger and garlic crushed one Stir it well and once it um, get cooked you can smell the um, old raw aroma will disappear and then you can add another ingredient now you will see now add add uh, sliced onions that's a three medium sliced onion I added we have been get uh, um, red onions here that's why i'm using white onions you can if you get red onions there then you can use that one or if you get the shallots that's very tasteful if you add shallots we don't have uh, shallots here is uh, because of this uh, pandemic is not coming from india that's why i'm using um, this um, onions big onions now Wait till it's uh, cooked. Once it cooked, you add the curry leaves. You can add the curry leaves earlier as well. I actually I forgot to add it earlier. That's why I'm just add it now. Now I'm going to add uh, turmeric powder, just mix it well. It will make uh, onion cook early fast as well. You can see the color changes and everything.
now I'm add uh, coriander powder this need to be uh, that uh, road uh, aroma need to be go cool. so once it uh, uh, fry on that oil it will the color will change a tiny bit and then I'm going to add uh, the chili powder and uh, meat masala as well um, pepper powder it's all mixed together and then uh, stir it well then once it uh, cooked the color changes and uh, you can see uh, it's fried in that oil and then uh, it will mix with that onion you can see the color changes it changed to uh, you know is a dark red one so once it uh, going like that you can add another one it should be that uh, sliced uh, tomatoes is also optional if you want you don't want that uh, taste of uh, tomato in it you can avoid it that's only for uh, the grape making the gravy thicker allow some time to cook that um, tomato once it's soft you can add uh, that uh, diced beef in it i'm just waiting to cook that tomato I'm going to add that uh, garam masala you can add that garam masala at the end as well I've used to put it in the earlier that's why I put it uh, now Now the time to add uh, diced and uh, washed drained beef is around uh, 2 kilos more than 2 kilos actually and now we need to mix it well with that masala once that uh, all uh, get into that meat and then you need to add some uh, salt as well in this um, time I'm going to mix it first and then I will add the salt you can add before as well now I'm adding uh, salt to taste I around put around uh, two one and a half tablespoons of salt there that depends your taste so you can add uh, how much you want that's only for taste so if you can uh, avoid uh, putting too much uh, salt in first time if you are not confident then uh, we can add it later when it is cooked now we need to mix it well to cook um, you know once the uh, started to drain the water look you can see now that's the water is started to come out from that uh, meat because this meat already can uh, holding some water in it if you if if it is drained then also it will be there we need to add some more water for cooking once it uh, started to uh, drain the water and then you can add some more water in it no need too much water if you are cooking in the pressure cooker uh, no need to add too much water but this one i'm uh, using like uh, it's called uruli um, 
so you can add a bit more water in early but if you are cooking in the pressure cooker you don't need to add that much water and cover it and uh, cook it for uh, around 20, 20, 20 minutes and then now I check and stir it you need to check in between otherwise uh, if the water dried it will burn so you should be checking in between and stir it this need to be a bit more so I'm going to cover it and cook for some more time and now it's almost done you can see the gravy is um, dried now so if you want to take a um, dry bit more you can dry but we like a tiny bit uh, gravy on it that's why we are taking like a you know is a bit uh, uh, not too much dried so I'm going to serve it in a plate and then I will show you how it looks like now caught time style beef roast or beef olatia is ready thank you guys for watching my video if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon on the side to get instant notification about my new videos see you guys with another video till then bye